Hey guys, it is Wednesday. Welcome back, Metalwork 101, episode three. So last week we talked about the dimple die, making some brackets to stiffen them up with using the dimple die. And I had mentioned that you can also use a bead roller. Now I'm going to show you real quick on here with the bead roller. Um, basically, I don't want to get too in depth with this because we're going to do a lot more stuff on the bead roller. Bead rollers pretty versatile tool. You can do a lot of neat stuff with it. So actually, for example, here's a piece of a floor pan. See all the ribs that are in that to strengthen it. Same basic idea. But I'm just going to show you real quick with the, just a little piece of aluminum here. We're going to put that in here like so. And we're going to go down. We'll do one and a half turns. And we're going to just put a few Fancy ribs in here. Now you always count your turns on here because that's going to help you set so you can have the same rib on both sides or wherever you choose to. So we're going to go touching. We're going to go one, two. I'm not getting real carried away here. I just want to kind of give you a rough idea of some of the things that you can do. One. You can get pretty fancy with a bead roller. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. Uh, you have to be careful sometimes with what it will... Uh, actually, let's straighten that up a little bit. Let me set this back in the break to straighten that edge. All right, so three simple little ribs in there. And you can see them from the back side. But that just made that extremely strong. So the bead roller is kind of neat for strengthening panels. It's also really neat for making a lot of neat designs and floor pans, dash panels, door panels, that kind of thing. So there's two methods of strengthening a bracket. So Seeing how this was such a short one, I'm going to take you up here. I'm going to show you another little machine that you guys might get a kick out of. So how many times have you had, uh, let's say, a windshield channel or a back window channel, say, like a shape like this, and it's rotted out inside there? And you go, well, how am I going to make that? Am I going to make a flat here and a flat here and weld it in? It's a lot of work. So if you take a little piece of sheet metal and you bend it, into a little angle iron and this particular die right here is a shrinker and this particular die is a stretcher but let's say we want to make that go around the corner so we'll set this inside these jaws sometimes they're a little temperamental to get them started okay there we go and you just kind of gently start working that you should be able to see that edge starting to roll. You just kind of go back and forth. You get the radius that you're looking for. And you can see, and it's not just, you know, window channels. There's a million different things in metalwork where you need to bend an angle iron. And it doesn't necessarily have to be an angle. You can do the same thing with a flat piece of metal. If you need to go around an angle or something. But as you can see, it doesn't take a bunch of effort. And you can get that nice little bend, which basically, let's walk over here a minute, will help you to duplicate one of those angles. So and then you just weld it in in two sides. But the cool thing about this is not only can you shrink an inside bend, but if we switch it to the other side, we can then make an outside bend. So 
So depending on whether you want to shrink it or stretch it, you can do that with this machine. So anyway, you get the idea. But you can see. And it makes a nice, clean, smooth little edge. It allows you to, uh, especially useful for around windows. But there's a lot of things where you want to make an edge of some sort. But neat little tool. Shrinker stretcher. And all these tools that I'm showing you are relatively affordable. Um, not going to get you into some big, heavy piece of equipment. It's going to cost you a ton of money. These are things that the average guy can afford. A set of a set of shrinker stretcher dies are probably about 150 bucks a piece. Sometimes you can find together um, relatively cheap. They have a hydraulic version or a manual. I kind of like the manual one, um, but it's a pretty simple system. But uh, anyway, I hope that uh, kind of gives you a couple of things to look at for this week. We will see you next week.